Welcome back to Witcher 2. I have been completing the contracts, both Necker and the and the Endrega, Endrega, whatever. I thought, well, hey, that's not the best content we can make out of this. It's just it was just a play not kill quiz as well, so yeah, it didn't have the strong points the Witcher quest usually has. So we're going with this instead because if you remember this a few episodes ago in the Lobbyden, uh, the little town just outside here, we encountered some guards interrogating uh, or harassing even an elf maiden? Lady at least. And we are headed for the cave where soldiers of the town died? Right? Yeah, exactly. We are gonna find out more about their fate and if it was actually the Scoia'tael or if it was something else, maybe. We do not know this. So we're gonna check out in the caves beneath Flotsam. So let's go and find those. Yeah, nothing happened at the Necker or Endriga contract. Except uh, when I was trying to find the eggs, which took some time. The eggs for the Endriga, that is. It took shitloads of time. I had to look it up. I found a random dude who gave us a quest as well. Uh, I think it would just... Well, it was not just kill Neckers, but it involved killing Neckers. Oh. Alright, so here's... Uh, here's the ha one who got harassed. We're gonna check out the cave if there's anything dangerous in here. But before we do that, we're gonna make a habit out of drinking potions. So let's quickly do that. We'll only have swallow currently which help us reasonably regenerates health for 10 minutes it's good enough i still man i'm gonna so make a playthrough out of witcher 3 as well um they handle potions a lot better since you can drink them at any point which makes sense right you because you just drink a lot of blood okay into the cave we go. As we love to do in fantasy games, of course. Right, let's use... Well, we don't really use that medallion often. Like, in Witcher 3, you... Uh, almost all the quests involve using the Witcher sense. In some form or another, at least. Alright. Okay, we got Neckers. Which, of course, means... Uh, which, oddly, you don't have to meditate for. But we're going to put on some enhancements as well. Uh, which, ah, there we go. Oh, right, we can... I made that, yeah, I made a better sword as well. I crafted one. So I had the ingredients, so why the hell not? These are necrophages, right? <laughs> yeah, what else would they be? Oh, we can even put in a rune... 20% damage sounds all right to me. Could we? It, shouldn't that fill up? S or did it become instead of the necrophage thing? Oh, yeah. Okay. You can only have one of those. All right. Let's take that then. Sure. And the runes. Oh, yeah. Wheatstone is not a rune, of course. Incineration, plus 20%. Let's take that. Oh, it feels good knowing this before. <laughs> Instead of finding this out. Like I had with other games so far. <laughs> Not to mention Fallout 4. Alright. Great! We're cutting through this. With our amazing enhancements. Partially. Hmm, but... The oil here on the blade, or the, yeah, the necrophage oil or poison or whatever it's called. It's time-based here, but in Witcher 3 it was hit-based. So you have like 45 hits or something before the oil went away. I don't know which makes more sense, but I like this system more. As is it time-based? Kind of? I don't know. They both have strength and weaknesses. Oh, shit! So currently, we could make the assumption that they were killed or the fate of the guards were sealed by the Neckers. 
but oh, do we have a map for this? Yeah, we do. Kick ass. Okay, let's go down there and see. Oh, another one. Level up! Awesome! Let's divulge into some talent points then. I've almost put none in magic, but I keep no shits almost. Do we have anything here? Unless the ability parry blows more direct directions, big regeneration, unless the ability redirect arrows. Nah, sounds kind of sort of boring. Guard, the amount of vigor need to block incoming blows, damage reduction, five so boy. Speed of regeneration, vitality plus 25. We'll take that. Chance of critical effect bleeding, chance of instant kill. Oh, but it's really low. Two plus 50. Let's do some simple ones first. We can get to this. That should be good. All right. Awesome. Let's continue on. Oh, wait. Is there a stop here? I'm hearing. I'm hearing uh, knickers somewhere. Oh, but where? Ours are good. Or is it needed for crafting? They said no. And what is this? Oh, right. The loot of everything. Oh, that's one of the most annoying things I mentioned about it. Well, they are... Okay, I can see them pretty well. They are all smoking for some reason. But the Witcher 3, as I believe I mentioned, but it so good system. It marks out dead corpses and loot on the minimap. I also removed, by the way, the combat log, as you've noticed. That was not helping at all, so I removed it. Where the hell am I going even? I need to... Can I get up here? Yeah. Thought it was crossed out before. Ah, there are more of them. Let's put on a shield. Might come some big bad guy. Else, we, the worst case, we just get a free... Free hit. That's not it. They get a free hit. That doesn't... Fuck! Oh, so annoying that looting isn't binded to E. I can't rebind it because then attacks binds to that as well. Another, by the way, sickness from the consoles binding multiple things to the same key. The keyboard has pretty many keys. It's, there's no need to bind anything to the same key. Shadow of Mortar is god awful at this, binding three different kinds of stuff to the space bar. Sprinting for one, which is odd. In which other game do you sprint with space? It's the universal jump button. Arrows. Oh. This is pretty clear. Scoyotel arrows. All right, all right. The Scoyotel did it. As far as it looks, anyway. We do not know for certain. Is this the way out? Okay, this is the way out. So let's just see if we find anything else in the cave. Because it's easy to miss stuff. Let's see. There were more... Right, I can take some herbs. No need to go down all the way there. But here, yeah, there's going to be a chest here. Come on, give me some... Sick loot. Now. Oh, get up. Where's the sick loot? Sick loot? Nothing. At all? The fuck was the point of that then? You can just get high ground in case you need that? Well, shit. All right, let's leave the cave. That was disappointing. Oh, shit the fuck. Did not notice that one. There we go. Easy. We should actually be fair here and turn up the difficulty until it gets too hard. Oh, hard is the hardest. What well, hard is the hardest one? Oh, well. We shall then exit this cave of... Not having loot. They could have put a chest up there. Sure, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But fuck, I... That was a, 
that is also a, a thing which the three did so right. Load everywhere and good load as well. Well, not every everywhere, but in a lot, a lot of places where you expect to find, such as almost kind of sort of hidden places in caves. There's supposed to be a chest there, for God's sakes. All right, where do we end? Uh, locked. Locked? Well, fuck. Oh, well. Let's just go all the way back then. Will we encounter some... Oh, well, what was that? Could we go down here? I thought I saw a prompt of some kind. Oh, okay. It was for ore. Let's take some more. Or there. Oh, we even got a silver one. That's great. That's great. Because I'm always... That's the thing I most rarely encounter. And that is very sorely needed in crafting. Jumping, jumping down. All right, there we go. We got a shortcut here. Jump down. Oh, this is the, yeah, we've been here and we've even looted the ore in that place. Oh, more knicker loot. We should have knicker intestines up the wazoo. Oh, we missed this one. Great. All right, I think we got most of the... Oh, it's chest! Didn't see that. It was so... Oh, well. Nothing too exciting. Works, I guess. It's a chest. That's all I wanted. And here we go. Let's talk to Malena. Malena? About the Scoia'tael arrows we actually found. And... That is exactly what the soldiers suspected as well. But she didn't necessarily think it was the Scoia'tael, if I remember correctly. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Find anything in there? Two soldiers. What happened to them? They were... Oh, I can shoot. Yeah, let's tell the They're truth. Dead, riddled with arrows. I know nothing about that. What do you think, Witcher? She had nothing to do with it. Like two soldiers wandered into the cave. Maybe to drive away monsters, but just because somebody convinced them to go. I don't know how many monsters they managed to Well, it's him implying. Scoia'tael. Bollocks. Last I recall, Bollocks. Neckers don't know how to use bows. Hey, lads, let's find a tree. Wait, 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 don't hang don't do her. Just don't kill me, please. Let's hear it. Speak. You need to see this. You oh, so she had, she had a hand in, in this. She is lying. Lead on. We'll see. You lead. If it's an ambush, at least we can possibly kill people. Oh, this! Oh, I love this. It's never simple. The solution is never laid out for you. Basically, well, in the Necker, in the Endriga contract, it's pretty easy. Kill the things, but in quests like these. Side quests even. You don't need to touch these with a foot-long stick. And they're amazingly done. And I just started. We're, I'm, what, five, six, seven hours into this? And have done nothing, basically. Nothing. At all. Just doing side quests. Oh, that... Asshole. Do you want to die? Oh shit! Oh, it was an ambush! Fuck, she never trusted her. Oh, we are on hard now, but it's doing pretty well. Fuck. And I can't kill her because. Squiddles. Thanks for the help, Witcher. Here's your orange. You're coming with us, bitch! You shouldn't have left Dimitri. Stupid whore. Death awaits you all! Curse you, fuck! I was trying to stand up for you, lady. God fucking damn it. Alright, we got our money. We're happy. We're very happy. We even with all the swords we can sell for pretty decent money. But they're not better than ours. I know this. And there we go. Right. Hell yeah! Let's go on next one.
Not far f Oh yeah, this is the random person I met in the forest while killing Neckers and Indrigas. Let's see, where was that on the map? Was a pre Why is it still on the cave? That I can't zoom out. Oh, I guess I'll have to Wait, the minimap is completely fucked up. Why is the minimap? Is the minimap is just showing the wrong. E is this a serious bug? It's showing that I'm in the middle of flotsam, which I totally am not. Let's see then. Okay, if we go back to, oh, is it showing right? Am I just reading? No, it's definitely not showing the right thing. What the hell is this about? Alright, if I go inside a building, have a transition of some... Oh, now the min minimap is corrected. And the map map as well. Right, I was there. I was over there. Oh, okay, then we were on the right way. Stupid. Alright, let's... Go this way. We could sell the. No, let's not. I'll do that on my spare time. We shall move on. And. Let's see, is this. No! Is this only. Can't you go outside here? Is that impossible? I'm. An idiot! Let's go back exactly the way we came. Jesus Christ, walking, am I right? It's not as simple as it looks. Right, so we were on the right way. Let's go that way instead. Minimaps may be wrong, but we'll do it anyway. Because brave heroes do that. They defy bugs and all different sort of sorts of things. We can even see if we were wrong or if the minimap actually displayed the right things. Where are we going now? Because we're not going around that way. That would be stupid. We're going this way. Through the ambush. Place it. No. That's. That's the cave of death. So is this the only. So. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this is the right way. Let's find out. Jesus Christ. I'll come to Witcher orientation and see if we find the correct w This looks exactly like the other part. Oh, wait. I know this is where we arrived. But can you continue from here into the forest on the other way? Because if I have to walk all the bloody way back... Oh, there are... People here. Something's brewing. Commando. Trouble. I can loot stuff at least. But I can't continue, can I? Oh. Oh. Shit. All right, I'll take out my dirtiest tool then, because since you watched this stupidity. I'll be at that guy's place just right about now. So this is the place uh, which I was talking about. Uh, we're, of course, here on the map now. And we're gonna meditate. Let's see, and drink potions. Real quick. You can never be too sure. I wonder if an alchemy build is viable in this. You can restore, cannot restore health. During combat, I assume, since you can't drink potions during combat. I don't know. That seems odd to me. Because a lot of the alchemy building which Witcher 3 was about survival. Oh well, let's kill our some neckers. That's the guy we met, by the way. Oh. Crazy necker. Normal necker seems relatively crazy to me. Oh, well, they burn up when you kill them. Oh, right, was was it his dog that was in trouble? It's possible. Oh, 
Oh no, 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 no. They, did they kill the dog? You sick fucks. You sick fucks, where's the dog? You don't just kill the dog. You have to enclose that shit. Where's... Where the hell do I go? What do I do? There's no one here. Where's the dog? I heard the dog whimpering. Oh? Is that... Oh. No! Not doggy! Fuck! Do we have to... Okay, I have to enter the ruins as well. I... The entering part I have not yet done. Let's do that. Let's see if there's any loot. Or is there anything I missed? Oh, fuck. Off. Oh, fuck off. Why do they place bear traps? What do the local population think they can catch with bear traps that roam this area? What? Oh, God. All right, missteps aside, uh, it's such a good way to end an episode and just walk into it at the next start of next episode. So I'll do that if I ever find the entrance and I'll see you next time.